YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on the Kansas City Royals franchise on MLB 16 the show this is episode 55 and we are in Chicago today taking on the good guys of the south side of Chicago the White Sox and a final game of a four game series here today on the hill for the Royals today will be Brandon Shipley the rookie pitcher who has been on fire as of late as for the White Sox they have John Danks and there he's take a look at his numbers here today but as for Shipley, he had a rough start there against the Twins. Uh, the Twins won that game 11-2 in his last start. Shipley, two and two-thirds innings of work, giving up six hits, six runs, all of them being earned, three walks, and only had four strikeouts. So we got to try to see if we can turn things around here and try to get him some run support. Now, the Royals did score those two runs, and those came, runs came in the eighth inning as Alex Gordon hit a two-run home run. And it was a little too late. And again, the Twins won that one 11-2. So Shipley says today this is going to be his game. He's going to turn things around. And we're hoping that that will be the case. Hopefully this will be a, a confidence booster for himself. As we'll take a look here and see the starting lineup for the Royals. And there you see Gordon, Afonte, Hosmer, Moore, Perez, Dyson, Zibris, Escobar, and of course Moustakas batting last. So... Now we go top of the first here. One two count for Hosmer. Hosmer will hit this one out to left center field. That will be a base hit there for him. And the Royals will get a single here for him in here in the inning. So a two out single there as Hosmer's, Hosmer's on board. Now we'll see Morse up to bat. One two count. Two outs. He'll hit this one out to left or right field there. That one is going to get caught by the right fielder there. Nice play. And that will wrap up the first inning here for the Royals as they have one on board there and cannot bring him home. So Shipley, there you see two and one for him, 3.78 ERA. It's been three games. Uh, there you see 16 and two-thirds innings, 12 hits, five walks, and 22 strikeouts. And like I said, that last start there, not a good one. So 0-2 count here, and we'll see that Eaton will go ahead and hit this one out to left. That's going to be an easy play there for him. That will be the first base hit of the day for the White Sox there. So the White Sox trying to hit get here early and try to do some damage here against this rookie pitcher as they know what he did in his last game. 0-2 count here for Duraza. We'll see what he can do with one runner on board. Nobody out. And that's going to be a swing and a miss there. That's going to be the first out of the inning as Duraza does not like what he is seeing here today on that pitcher. So you see the lineup there for the White Sox. And, of course, Abreu is going to be coming up with the bat. Jones following him. Then O'Brien, Beckham, and Avilas and Flowers there to round out the bottom of the order. As you take a look here, this is going to get skied out there as uh, Abreu skies that one out to center field. That's two away for the White Sox. So Jones will be up the bat here. And you see here Dyson still playing at center field here, helping out Kane as he's still on IR. Now we'll see a 0-2 pitch, and Shipley will get out of the inning there. Nice job as he gets Jones out there on that play, and that ends the inning. So after one, no score for either ball club here, but they do get both of them do get one hit here in the game so far. Now bottom of the second, 0-2 count, and that's going to be a swing and a miss there for O'Brien or for O'Daniel there as Shipley gets another strikeout here. Nice job there from him. Take a look at the replay. And, yeah, he gets himself there uh, out of that first at-bat. 0-2 count with one out. Now we'll have Beckham up here. He'll swing and a miss, and that will get him retired there. That's two away now here. So two straight strikeouts here in the bottom of the second. As Shipley looks pretty confident there. And uh, he might have a, a game here today. 2-2 two -two count here, two outs, and Avilas will swing and a miss also. That will be it, and he will be striking out the side there. So Shipley looking very confident here today. He wants to, like I said, he wants to change things. He doesn't want to have a bad inning like he did before. So now we'll go here to the top of the fourth here, and Mo or I should say Morse will be up here. He will hit this one high and deep out to right. That's going to be a two-run shot there as he brings home himself and Hosmer. That's a two-run play, and that's going to bring home a uh, two-run lead here for the Royals. That's, that's going to be Moore's eighth home run of the season. Ned Yost likes what he sees here from a slugger that he picked up during free agency there. A nice job 
And the Royals leading now 2 0 here in the, in the top of the fourth. Take a look at the replay. This one is screaming out of here, and that's going to land right into the White Sox bullpen there. And the Sox now trail by two. Now we'll go to the bottom of the fourth here. Two out, or two, two aboard, and, or excuse me, two two count, and we'll see a Bria. He'll get hit there. That's going to be a hit by pitch, and that's going to be the only really thing that's going to be bugging uh, Shipley there, as you see. Ends up giving up a. Uh, a walk here or a intentional walk and that's going to be or actually hit by pitch there that's going to go ahead and get first now we'll see jones he'll swing and a miss there that's two away as the white Sox here got one on board here and jones tried to help out his ball club here but yeah that's not going to help him at all if you're going to swing and a miss so now old daniel's going to come up the bat here again here in the bottom of the fourth We'll see here with 0-2 count and two outs. That's going to get him retired here, and that's going to be it for the inning. So after four, Royals now lead it here. Now 2-0 here early in this ballgame here. The Royals look really good here, especially Shipley, who has been pitching like a madman on that hill. So there you see John Danks, his numbers, five and a third innings, seven hits. Two runs, two earned runs, no walks, and no strikeouts here. He's having a tough day here. Now, see Salvi Perez hits this one out to shallow left field. That's going to be a base hit. He's going to get on board. Nice job there for him. Now waiting for Dyson to come up to bat and see what he can do. So with one out, the Royals got one on board. Oh, 2-0 count here for Dyson. And we'll see if Dyson swings this one. That's going to hit out to shallow left center field. That's going to be a base hit. Now we got runners at first and second. Royals still leading out 2 nothing in this uh, top of the sixth. As the Royals look like they got some hits here put together here for themselves. And, of course, you've got hits like this going for yourselves and you got one out. There's a good chance that you could have be uh, getting some runs in coming in here for you. So we'll see the pitching coach here. He'll come out. Actually, it's uh, Robin Ventura, the head coach. He'll be coming out here, and he's going to get the ball for, away from Danks. And he's going to call in Scott Brenner here to come in the six to try to wrap this up and keep the lead that the Royals have right now stationary so they can have a good chance to still be in this ball game. So Zippers will come out the bat, but we'll take a look here and look at Scott Brenner's numbers. There you see 5.68 ERA. He has uh, worked in six and a third innings of work here this year. He has five strikeouts. He's going to have to take on Zibris, and Zibris will be batting right here today. That's going to hit into the gap there at right center field. That's going to be a, a, two, a double, and that's also going to bring in a run. And that's going to be an RBI double there for the Royals as Perez comes in. Nice job there from him scoring there. See, she should say Zibris. Doing a good job there, swinging the bat pretty well here today as he's playing DH instead of uh, Adam Lynn. So, we'll see what the Royals can now do here on defense as they lead it 3-0. And we'll see what kind of uh, play Shipley will have for himself here. He's got Kuzmanov up the bat, 0-2 count. And that's going to be a swing and a miss there for Kuzmanov as that's one away now for the White Sox here. White Sox, again, having a tough time here against Shipley here as Shipley is just pitching uh, pretty almost uh, per, almost a perfect game here. Is That's going to be a drop down as Eaton drops down on a bunt, and that's going to be thrown out there at first. They go ahead and say he is safe, and Ned Yost is going to come out and make a call here and say, no, he does not believe he was safe, and he wants to, be, he wants to get a challenge here. So they're going to have to call New York. And they're going to have to look at the replay. Let's take a look here and see the replay, this first replay. Yeah, that from that angle, it looks like the Royals may have a call here. They may uh, have a challenge, and they may go ahead and just say, yeah, let's go ahead and look at it. So, yeah, they're going to go ahead and take a look at the pit play here and see if the ball was in the glove of Hosmer before Eden touched the bag. So, it's going to have to be, the ball's going to have to be in the glove before uh, Eden gets in there. And uh, from that angle, it looks like Eden may have had a, uh, about a foot 
maybe a, a step or half a step there on the ball. And, uh, yeah, Royals do not get the call. It's going to be safe. So the play is going to be upheld. And the Royals burned a challenge there. So they will not be able to make any more challenges here in the ball game. So Dezaza will come out the bat here. 0-2 here. He struck out and ground out. 0-2 count. One out. Got Eden at first. And the pitch. And that was going to be a strikeout there as Dezaza does not like that at all. And Shipley, there you see his numbers there, doing very well, especially with that cutter here today and that knuckle, knuckle curve there he just, just used on Zaza has been in his benefit now. So Abreu comes up the bat, 0-1, got hit back early in the ball game. We'll see what he can do here in the bottom of the six with the runner on board. And 0-2 count, and that will get him walking back to the dugout, talking to himself. So the Royals here lead it now 3-0 here after 6. We'll see what they can do here with the rest of this ballgame. So there you see Shipley's numbers there. Better numbers than the last time he was out here to play. And, uh, of course, that game against the Twins there was a rough outing for him. His roughest so far. So we'll see if he can continue on as he goes comes into the 7th now. Mike Villas coming up to bat. And we'll see what Villas can do here as we have uh, one on board here. And we'll see this one will go up the middle here. Actually, uh, we'll see Eaton. He will uh, end up going ahead and get first. And he will get rewarded first by that error uh, by Afonte. So Afonte will go ahead and get on board. So now we have runners at second and first. So runners at first and second. And two outs. 1-1 one, one pitch here for Flowers. <coughs> Excuse me, and we'll see this one go up the middle there to the shortstop. We'll see Escobar make a play. He does at first. Nice throw there as Hosmer gets the catch, and that'll be it for the inning. So we'll see. After seven, Royal still lead it now 3-0, and we'll go on to the next inning. So Paul Rainer will come out to, here in the game today and see this is his fourth, or it's actually his fifth game he's into so far this season. You see 3.86 ERA. Four and a two-thirds of work here for him. As we'll see here, runner on first with one out. And that's going to be a swing there as Zeraza gets 0 for 1. So we'll see what he can do here. And we'll see as Brosner can try to get out of this inning here against this pitcher. And this one's going to be a dribbler right from the plate. And that's going to be an easy out there for the Reds or for the uh Royals there as they go ahead and get the runner out there as the lead runner now is at second. So the Royals now have a runner at second with 0-2 count, two outs, and well Brewe will swing and a miss there. That'll be his second of the day, and that will end the inning. So Red Ridner coming out here and does his work here as a reliever. Now he's gonna have to get the ball into Holland's hands here. As you see, Holland comes in. This will be his eighth game of the year. He's going to look for his fifth save. There you see his work so far he has done this year. And it has been pretty well here uh, for the season for the Royals here as their closer. So one, two, count for Jones as he will get a pitch here. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. That is one away on the White Sox. And the White Sox have two more outs here. They got two more chances to try to get back in this ball game. They're only down by three here in the bottom of the ninth. So Holland gets the first batter out. Now we'll see here full count, one out, and another pitch. And we'll see a swing and a miss there as O'Daniel will strike out there. That's two away with their last batter coming up the bat. This is the last chance the White Sox have. We take a look here at the replay and see that Holland knows what he's doing there on the hill. And he's got one more shot here. So. Now Beckham coming up here. Gordon Beckham, we'll see here. 0-2 count, high pitch. That's going to be a high slider, and that one gets away from him as he cannot connect, and Shipley picks up a victory there. Shipley picks up his third victory of the year as he is now 3-1, and one, and the Royals move on here with a 3-0 victory and win the series three games to one. So the Royals pick up today's victory here. Nice job. As they are getting ready to continue on this road trip here. I believe they go to Cleveland next. 
before they head back home to finish or to actually start a homestand there against the Detroit Tigers. So Royals pick up the victory there. Nice job from the boys in blue here today. Playing excellent offense, but not to mention some great pitching from their starter. And there you see Shipley. Seven innings of work, three hits, no runs, no earned runs, no walks. 15 strikeouts, his career high so far. And there you see his numbers as he is named player of the game. So congratulations there to the rookie picking up another great win. <coughs> so, excuse me. So that being said, this is definitely was a confidence booster. Talking to him after the game, he says, hey, he feels he just – he today was his, his game he was on fire he felt like he had electricity run through his body and that's what he wanted to see after having that rough start there against the twins so hopefully we'll be able to see him pitch out uh, pitch another game like that again but we'll take a look here at the numbers before we go and uh, there you see check out those numbers now batting wise I think um, I'm gonna have to change the batting order up I think I'm gonna drop Gordon down to second and have a Fonte start uh, when there's right-handed batters. Uh, but again, still, you know, moving things, guys around the order there in certain batting orders, uh, especially when it comes to righties. I think lefties, I feel comfortable with what we have. Uh, righties, I'm still trying to figure out who the best guy is to start off for us. Uh, I think, a, well, since, you know, since right now we have an injury with Kane, Norm McCain would be the starter or be the leadoff guy, but I think we might end up moving uh, Escobar properly up there. Uh, maybe get him, help him out with being a con as a confidence booster and get his uh, batting average up. Or we could even start Moose up there. So, it, you know, we're just kind of playing around with the, the order right now to see what works best for us. But there right, you see, two and a half game lead over the White Sox right now. And like I said, we got the. Uh, Indians coming up there, and the Indians are, I believe, six games out of first place there, 6-11, and 11, and we're at the three-game series against them. So in the next episode, you guys will see Eddie Butler. He'll get his next start. He had a rough uh, start last time. Uh, we'll see him in action. Um, he actually pitched the first game of the White Sox, but he did not get a victory and uh, or no it was not it was in that game it was the uh, i can't remember which game it was but anyway he he had a rough start there so we're going to see him come up here in the detroit series i believe it's uh, either the second or third game we'll see him uh, in that series there against the detroit tigers uh coming up but uh we'll try to see if we can get him a victory there um here pretty soon here in episode 56 but before that you guys will have a royals insider franchise uh, video coming up talking about the month of April and what has happened with this ball club so far in this first month of the season. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and check out other great series here on ESGN Net. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves each other healthy, and I will see you guys next time.